Hello, baseball and Stratomatic baseball fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. Today, I am here. I'm back with a mismatch Monday because it's been a while. It's been a few weeks with all the products coming out, new products coming out and things that I bought. It's been a few weeks since we've done a mismatch Monday. And so, I got another one here for you. And today, it is going to be the... Um, the 1940s it's going to be a 1947 game and it's going to be the the Brooklyn Dodgers who were 94 and 60 in 1947 taking on the Chicago Cubs who were 69 and 85 the Dodgers of course were the NL champions and the Cubbies were the 6th place team in the NL. Now, I do have a Cubs game, a 1947 Cubs game on my um, channel. Um, that would be the uh, against the 1947 Braves, and I'll put that in the uh, in the end card, the end screen. Uh, that was a marathon game. It was a 20 inning affair between those two teams. So I'm hoping that this doesn't get quite to that level. I mean, because, you know, that even tired me out and all I was doing was rolling dice. So let's get on with this. Brooklyn is at Chicago. The weather effects in Chicago for a left-handed batter, it's a one to 16 for a single and a one for a home run. For a righty, it's a one to four for a single and a one to five for a home run. So, uh, with that having been said, let's go over the Dodgers lineup. Uh, batting first, you got Pee Wee Reese at shortstop leading off. Batting second, you've got Jackie Robinson playing first base. The third place hitter will be Pete Reiser, and he's in center field. Then you have, uh, I believe it is, is it Dixie Walker? Uh, yes, Dixie Walker will be the right fielder. Carl Ferrillo batting fifth, and he's playing left field. Um, I think it's Bruce. Is it Bruce Edwards? Yes, Bruce Edwards will be the catcher batting sixth. Eddie Stanky is playing second base batting seventh. Spider Jorgensen will be at third base. And the pitcher today is going to be Harry Taylor. And uh, Harry Taylor in 1947 was 10 and 5 with a 311 earned run average. In 162 innings, he allowed 130 hits and 10 home runs. And he will be going up against the Cubs, but um right now we need to talk about the Cubs pitcher because the Cubs pitcher's out there right now. And he is he's finishing his warm-ups and that's going to be Doyle Laid. Doyle Laid will be the pitcher for the Cubs that today. He was 11 and 10 with a 394 earned run average in 1947. In 187 innings pitched, he allowed 202 hits and 15 homers. So he's going to be the pitcher for the Cubs, and he's going up against this mighty Dodger lineup, which will lead off right now with Pee Wee Reese. And I guess I'm going to have to uh, move these, uh, move these off to the side a little bit because. Can't get them all in. But anyway, a 1-9. And he is a righty going up against a righty. And that is going to be a uh, single. That is going to be a single for the Dodgers. And they've got a man aboard. And I don't have enough room on this board for everything. So anyway, there's the, there's the first uh, hit of the game. Jackie Robinson is the next batter. He gets a 2-7. That's going to be a ground ball third base B. So there's one down, and now Jackie Robinson is at first. Pete Reiser is the batter, and he gets a 2-9, and that's a strike out. So there's two down with Robinson at first, and Dixie Walker is the batter. He gets a 5-12. He's a left-handed batter, and that's going to be a ground out to their first baseman, and their first baseman is... Uh, Eddie Waitkiss, and Eddie Waitkiss is a 1E10, and that is a 13. That's probably going to be off the error chart. 
Uh, yes, it is going to be. And that's an 11 on an E10. And that is a ground ball A. So the Dodgers go quickly in the first and we go to the second inning. And, uh, oh yeah, I got I didn't record any of this. I'm just gonna make quick, just quick notations here, but we've got Carl Farrillo will be leading off the next inning for the Dodgers. But right now we've got to go over the Cubs lineup. That's gonna be Phil Cavaretta in left field as the leadoff batter. And uh, the second batter will be uh, Andy Pafko. And he's playing center field. Next, you got Peanuts Lowry at third base. Then you're going to have Bill Nicholson in the cleanup spot. He's playing right field. Eddie Waitkiss, as mentioned before, is the first baseman, and he's batting in the fifth spot. Then you got Don Johnson, not the guy that was on uh, Miami uh, Miami Blues or whatever that show was, uh, playing second base. Then you got uh, Bob Sheffing batting seventh playing catcher. Lenny Marullo will be the shortstop. And as mentioned before, Doyle Lade is the pitcher for the Cubs. Or for the, uh, yeah, for the Cubs. So here's Phil Camaretta. He gets a 3-9, or 3-7. 3-7, sorry. And um, Taylor is a righty, so that is going to be a single. And Cavaretta, the both teams have their leadoff batters get on. And that brings up Andy Pafko, and we can see that he's got a 1-4. And 1-4 uh, is going to be, that is a ballpark single, and the roll was a 2, and he is a right-handed batter, so that is a single. It's a single anywhere for either any of them. So we've got, uh, we've got the first two batters on for the Cubs here. Let's see if they can make something uh, work with this. And then Peanuts Lowry is the next batter, and he gets a 2-6, and you're not going to believe this. It's another single, and what is the lead runner? Let's see. Lead runner is Cavaretta. He is a 1-12, to so they're not going to chance it. They've got bases loaded with no outs. Why would you want to take a chance on getting somebody thrown out and then potentially ruin your entire inning? With Bill Nicholson, the cleanup hitter, is the next hitter. And what happened to that other dice? Oh, there it is. And uh, he gets a 1-8. And a 1-8 is going to be a fly ball center field B. So the run, a run does score. And that is a sack fly for Nicholson. One run is in, and Eddie Waitkiss is the batter. He gets a 6-7. Six, 6-7, seven. Six, seven, and he is a lefty. And that is going to be a... Um, yeah, that's going to be a walk. So the bases are loaded here. Again. Yet again, the bases are loaded. This time for Don Johnson. And he gets a 4-8 batting right. He's a right-handed batter. And that is going to be a fly ball left field B. So that's a second out, but it is also a sack fly. The same thing that, uh, that Nicholson did with the bases loaded. So it brings in another run. You got to feel like the Cubs are not really maximizing their effort here against the Dodgers, a team that could explode on them. And Bob Sheffing is the batter. He gets a 6-7. But that's going to be a walk, and that's going to load the bases back up again. Taylor is in constant trouble here. Um, and, uh, you know, and it shows. And now Lenny Marullo is the batter. And he gets a 411. 411 for a righty, and that is going to be a ballpark single, and it is a single, and it knocks in another run. And the Cubs have scored three here 
on Harry Taylor, terrible inning for him. Luckily for him, the pitcher is up, and that is Doyle Wade. And he gets a 6-11, and he is a right-handed batter. And that is going to be a ground ball, shortstop A. So it mercifully ends, but the Cubs score three runs, which is big. It's big for this team because, you know, I don't know if you're following my mismatch Mondays, but we don't have the, uh, the team that's worse in the matchup doesn't usually win the game. So um, we have a 3-0 uh, lead for the, the underdog here, and Carl Ferrillo is the batter, as mentioned earlier. He gets a 4-6, and that is going to be a ground ball shortstop, one away. So he goes 6-3. to three. Edwards is the batter, Bruce Edwards. He gets a 1-6, that is going to be a ground ball third base. So he goes 5-3. The Dodgers are not putting up much of a, an attack here. 4-8 for Eddie Stanky. And he is going to get a ground ball. Yes, ground ball to first base. Ground out three and they go quickly. And now the Cubs are back at the top of the lineup after they batted around in the first inning on Harry Taylor. And Cavaretta is the batter and he gets a 2-9 and that's going to be a fly ball. And he actually, let's see, he flies out to left field if you're scoring at home. And Andy Pafko is the batter. He gets a 6-5, and that's going to be a strikeout. And Peanuts Lowry. And he gets a 1-9, and that is going to be a ground ball third base. So they go, uh, they go quickly there, a lot different than their first inning against Harry Taylor, and probably the more the result that Harry Taylor would have liked to have seen in the first inning. So let's see where the dice went. Here we go. Spider Jorgensen gets a 6-5, and that's going to be a ground ball. Um, now, wait a minute. Let's see. Spider Jorgensen. Yeah. Yeah, for Brooklyn. All right. So that's a 6-5, that's a, uh, and that's going to be a strikeout. Jorgensen strikes out, and that brings up Harry Taylor. They're going to keep him in. It's only 3-0. They're going to hope they don't. he doesn't have another disastrous inning like he did uh, in the first, but he grounds out to second base. So he gets a four to three. He is a pitcher hitting one. And that brings up Pee Wee Reese. And he gets a five six. And that is going to be a ground ball third base. So he's out five to three. No runs for the Dodgers there. And that brings up the Chicago Cubbies. And they're going to have Bill Nicholson. Their cleanup hitter is going to be the leadoff man here. And he pops out to first base. Uh, one down, and Eddie Waitkiss is the batter. He gets a 4-3, and uh, that is going to be a ground ball second base. So he goes out 4-3, and that brings up Don Johnson, Miami Vice. 3-6. 3-6 is going to be a fly ball to right field. Deep fly to right field. Fly out to uh, fly out to nine, and they get no runs in the third. I, you get a feeling like the Cubs said, "Hey, you know what? Our allotment of runs, we scored them all in the first inning." So that brings up Jackie Robinson, and uh, he gets a three-two. That is going to be a hit by pitch, and so Jackie Robinson is aboard. With no outs. Now, we don't know. Maybe that was intentional. Maybe not. But uh, Pete Reiser is the batter. That's a 6-2. 6-2. That is going to be a... Um, 
That is going to be a fly ball to, well, yes, it's still going to be a, a fly ball to right field and uh, one down. Fly out nine. Robinson still aboard with one down now. Dix <coughs> Dixie Walker gets a one five, and that's going to be a fly ball left field B, two away. And that brings up Carl Ferrillo. And that is a 5-8, uh, and that is going to be a ground ball to the third baseman. He's out 5-3. to three. Uh, Brooklyn really not putting up much of a fight here. Maybe they came off a, a long road trip and they're just a little tired, but they don't. doesn't seem like they've got the fight in them to take down the Cubs. You got Bob Sheffing is going to be the batter. He gets a 1-3, and that's going to be a foul out to third base. The only good thing for Taylor is that after that disastrous first inning, the Cubs are batting more like they would normally bat. He gets a 2-6 as Marulo, Marulo gets a 2-6, and that is going to be a ground ball shortstop. So he's out 6-3, uh, to three, and that brings up the pitcher laid. And he gets 3-5, which is going to be a ground ball third base. So he is out 5-3. to three. And the Cubs go quickly. Ever since that first inning, everybody's gone quickly. Nobody interested in getting on. Nobody interested in scoring runs. We got Bruce Edwards up for the Brooklyn Dodgers. And he gets a 5-5, which is going to be a fly ball to left field. Then you got Eddie Stanky. Eddie Stanky with one down. And uh, he gets a 2-9, and that is going to be a fly ball to right. A lot of fly balls, too. And uh, Spider Jorgensen gets a 6-4, and that is going to be a catcher card X. And that is a 13. The catcher for the Cubs is a 3-E-8. So let's check out a 13 and see if that comes up. Uh, 30, yes, it does, and it's an out. So um, he uh, goes out to the catcher. And no runs in for Brooklyn. We go to the bottom of the fifth. It's 3 nothing here. Phil Cavaretta gets a 2-8, and that is going to be a ground ball third base. So Cavaretta goes 5-3. to three. We're back to the top of the lineup again for the Cubs, and they've got one down quickly uh, here in the fifth. And Pafco, Andy Pafco, gets a 6-7, and that is going to be a walk. So they, he gets on with a walk. And that brings up Peanuts Lowry with one down and one out. And he gets a 2-8, and that is going to be a home run. Are you kidding me? Peanuts Lowry, home run one to two, and it came up. It's out of the park, which is another game. But anyway, that's another game for another day. But, um, yeah, uh, it's, it's safe to say this is not Harry Taylor's day. Bill Nicholson comes up and he gets a 211, which is a ground ball first base C. So that's two down. And Eddie Weight kiss up and he gets a 1-8, and that's a ground ball first base. But not before the Cubs score another two, and they have a commanding 5-0 lead. And guess what? Harry Taylor is the leadoff batter, and they are not gonna keep Harry Taylor out there because. They need a pinch hitter, number one. And number two, Harry Taylor is stinking the place up. So uh, they are going to, you know what? They need an on-base guy here. Um, but no, that, that's not the guy. <laughs> that is not the guy. Um, let's see. Let's see. Who would they pick?
Yeah, you know what? They got the perfect guy in mind. That's going to be Archie Vaughn. Archie Vaughn in 1947 hit 325 and had a 444 on base percentage. So he is going to be the batter. And uh, we'll, we'll write him in. And he gets a 6-5, and that's going to be a strikeout. All of that, all of that work for nothing. And uh, he strikes out to lead off the 6th. That brings up Pee Wee Reese. We're back to the top of the Dodger lineup. He gets a 6-11. 6-11 um, is going to be, let's see, he is a righty. So that is going to be an out. It is going to be a um, ground ball to the second baseman. So he goes out 4-3. And Jackie Robinson gets a 2-8, and that is a single. So Jackie Robinson, he's had a pretty good day. He's um, he's hit into a fielder's choice. He's been hit by a pitch, and he has singled here. And Pete Riser is the batter. He gets a 6-7. And that's going to be a ground ball to the second baseman. The second baseman for the Cubs is a 4-E-26, and that is a 12. So let's check that one out. Uh, 12, no, it's going to be on his uh, air rating. And he's a 26, and that's a 3. I don't like that. Um, it's an E1. It is going to be an E1. So Riser gets on by an E, E4, and Dixie, that brings up Dixie Walker. And he gets a 6-8. And that is going to be a single double asterisk and knock in one run. Runners are now at the corners with two down. And, uh, and Carl Ferrillo is the batter. And that is a 4-9, I'm going to call it. And uh, that is going to be a... Ground ball, shortstop. So Ferrillo grounds out to the shortstop, six to three. But the Dodgers do get a run, but they're still down five to one. So they've still got a lot of work to do. Um, the new pitcher for the Brooklyn Dodgers is going to be Hugh Casey. Now Hugh Casey in 1947 was ten and four with a 3.99 earned run average and allowed 75 hits. In 77 innings. And Don Johnson is the batter. He gets a 3-3. And that is going to be a single. So Don Johnson with a leadoff hit here against uh, Hugh Casey, who's on in relief of Harry Taylor. And he gets a, uh, the next guy is Sheffing. He gets a 5-8. And that's going to be a fly ball center field. So that's one away. Marulo is the batter. Lenny Marulo. And he gets a 3-7. That's going to be a fly ball center field. F-8, just like the guy before him. And that brings up the pitcher laid. And uh, he's pitched well enough. He's going to stay out there. And he gets a 5-7. And that actually is going to be a single double asterisk for him. So the pitcher rips one to uh, right center field and gets a base hit. And now runners are at the corners with two down and the top of the lineup up with Phil Cavaretta, and he gets a 6-8. And that is going to be a triple and clear the bases. A, a, a two-run clearing triple that knocks in two runs. And the Cubs are just taking it to the Dodgers here. Unbelievable. This is, like I say, this is very rare. You don't see this. Andy Pafko is up, and 
He got a two, so that's a two eight, <clears throat> uh, two eight against a righty, and that's going to be a walk. And they, and, and they don't show any signs of letting their foot off the gas pedal either. And Peanut for Lowry is the batter. He gets a 2-7, and 2-7 will finally mercifully be a ground ball, um, or no, a fly ball to center field. So, yeah. Fly ball, center field, but not before the Cubs come up with two more of their own, and it is 7-1, going to the top of the, the seventh now. Bruce Edwards is going to be batting for the uh for the uh for the Brooklyn Dodgers against Lade. Lade could get a, com a complete game now because I mean you know I don't know if the Dodgers got six runs in them. Uh that is a two four that'll be a ground ball to the third baseman the third baseman for the Cubs is a 4E30. So that's a 14 and a 4 at third base. And that is going to be on his air rating. That is a 6. And a 30 with a, six, a roll of 6 is an E1. You might well have guessed that that would be that the guy would have reached base. And he does. So Bruce Edwards is aboard... <coughs> On, uh, on an air. And uh, Eddie Stanky is up. And he gets a 6-4. Six, 6-4 four. Six, four is going to be a catcher card X. The catcher is a 3-E-8. I mean, the fielding might um, do these guys in. That is an 18. So an 18 and a 3 is a... a Pass ball followed by foul out. So the runner advances to second. Um, and that brings up the pitcher, um, Hugh Casey, and they are going to certainly pinch hit for him because they need the runs badly. And they are going to pinch hit Stan Rojack. Rojek in 1947 hit 263 in 80 at bats. And he gets a 6 7, and a 6 7 is going to be a ground ball second base X. That Cubs fielding. It's a 4 E26. That's a 12. Uh, let's see here. Well, it's going to be uh, on his E rating. And what did I say he is? A 4E26. That is a 5. 5 on a 26 is going to be an E1. The Cubs make another error. This, uh, if, if they lose this game, it's only going to be because of their fielding. But they still got to go a long way to be in a position where they're going to lose the game. Pee Wee Reese is the batter. He gets a 1-4. That is going to be an out. That is going to be a line out to third base, or a, a pop out, pop out to third base. And how many outs is that? Let's see. That is two outs. At least I've got it as two outs. Yeah. And Jackie Robinson's up. He's been on a couple of times, and uh, he gets a 412, and that is going to be a fly ball center field. So he doesn't get on there, unfortunately, for the Dodgers. And uh, they get one run. No, they don't. What, do they? No, they didn't get one run. They didn't even get a run out of that. All of that on base traffic didn't result in a run and so they need a new pitcher and the new pitcher will be 
Clyde King. In 1947, Clyde King was 6 and 5 with a 277 earned run average. He allowed 85 hits in 88 innings pitched. And he's coming on to face the Cubs lineup that has really decimated this uh, Dodger pitching today. Bill Nicholson is the batter. And he gets a 4 9. And a 4 9 is going to be a ground ball shortstop uh, for them. The shortstop is Pee Wee Reese. Got to imagine he's good. He is. He is good. He's a 1 E28. And uh, that is a roll of six, so that is an out. So Nicholson goes six to three here in the bottom of the seventh, where the Cubs have a commanding seven to one lead over the Dodgers. Eddie Waitkiss gets a six eight. Six eight is going to be a walk. So, yeah. They, they're just relentless here. Don, Don Johnson is up. He gets a 6-4, and uh, he is going to ground, ball to ground ball to the third base B. So now it's him that's at first base. And that brings up Bob Sheffing. <coughs> and Bob Sheffing gets a 6-11, and that is going to be a ground ball third base. So he goes out 5-3. to three, And uh, we have no runs for the Cubs in the seventh. We go to the eighth inning. It's really getting late for the Dodgers here. And they got Pete Riser as the batter to lead off the eighth inning. He gets a 2-7, which is a single. So let's see if they this can be the start of a, of a bit of a rally to get them back on track here. Dixie Walker gets a 6. That's a 1-6. That is going to be a ground ball second base A. So that's a double play. So maybe no such luck. <laughs> and uh, that'll bring up... Um, Carl Ferrillo. Carl Ferrillo, 4 10, and he gets a strikeout. So it looks like Lade still has it. He's still got gas in the tank. He's still going strong. Doesn't seem like he wants to be taken out of this game. Wants to get a win for the Cubbies. I don't remember who won that Braves game, but you know what? You can go back and check it out, couldn't you? So uh, Marulo is going to be the batter for the Dodgers. You get the 210, which is going to be a, um, let's see, or for the uh, for the Cubs. You get the 210, and that is going to be a ground ball shortstop. So he goes out 6-3. to three. Here in the bottom of the eighth, with the Cubs not needing any more runs, you would think. The pitcher's up, laid. They're going to let him hit. He's pitching great, 6-5. I'm going to call that a 6-5, and that just happens to be a home run, except it isn't because Elaine is a um, a weak, yeah, he is a weak hitter, so he would, uh, he would get a single. So he's going to get a single out of that. But let's not sell him short. That's his second single of the game. He has been hitting this Dodger pitching pretty well. Certainly. And there are no outs with the pitcher. Uh, well, one out. One out with the pitcher aboard. And where is the out marker? It's hard to keep all these moving parts going. Phil Cavaretta is up. He gets a 210. That is going to be a ground ball. Pitcher B. So now he is the guy that's on. And... There are two down, and Andy Pafko is the batter, and he gets a 4-6, and a 4-6 is going to be a um, pop-out, pop-out to third base. So, uh, no runs come in for the Cubs there, and we're going to the top of the ninth, and if the Dodgers cannot get... Um, the Dodgers can't seem to 
to score six runs or wait let's see is it worse than that no it's that's about what it is it is seven to one they need six runs right here off of Lade, and Lade has shown no signs that he's going to give it up so let's see bruce edwards gets a three nine and that is going to be a strikeout So he leads off. I think the Dodgers just want to go out to one of the best steakhouses that they can find out in Chicago. Or maybe go to Ed DeBevick's. Eddie Stanky is up. <laughs> he gets a 2-5. And my wife loves Ed DeBevick's. So that's a fly ball uh, right field B. And there's two down. And that brings up Spider Jorgensen. And Spider Jorgensen is going to get a 5-4. 5-4, and that is going to be a ground ball third base. Hold the presses because the third baseman is not good. He's a 4-E-30, and that's an 11. So, um, let's see. What was that? Uh, yeah, that was an 11, so it's going to be on his air rating, and it's an E-30, so not good is really what I'm saying is the situation. 7 on an E-30 is going to be an E1. So yeah, they get a guy aboard. And that brings up the pitcher, I believe. And uh, they are going to pinch hit for him, obviously. Now their best pinch hitter was the guy they used a few innings ago, but they are going to bring in Gene Hermansky. Gene Hermansky in the... Uh, in the 1947 season, hit 275 with seven home runs and 189 at bats. So he's going to take his turn against Doyle Lade, who's reaching back right now, and he gets a 5 5, and that's going to be a fly ball left field B. And that is it, folks. The Cubs, the underdog in this game, have destroyed the Brooklyn Dodgers by the score of 7 to one. The winning pitcher was Doyle Lade, and the losing pitcher was Harry Taylor of the Dodgers. And in a stunning upset, the Cubs have beaten the Brooklyn Dodgers. And that will be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.